Welcome to another edition of Desarian Plays MMOs. Today I'm in World of Warcraft. I'm on my, what the heck am I on? I'm on my level uh, 34 mage. And uh, I'm here in the Arathi Highlands, right where I left off. And we're going to uh, go ahead and just pick up and start doing some quests here. Uh, we've made it up to Hammerfall. And uh, we'll see what these people want. Mm, yeah, there's a question mark right there, so we're going to take a look at that. Our people were held as prisoners, as slaves in this very camp by the humans. I was locked in these camps, these cages. I saw my brothers held these stocks hung in the gallows. I saw Orgrim Doomhammer, leader of us all, stabbed in the back, his blood-stained Black the earth we stand on, and look at us now. This is our legacy, Hammerfall, where we lost everything and then took it back with our own hands. Thormaka, Thromka Mage, if your deeds for undead are as great as you claim, I am honored to help you serve the Horde. Raising Spirits. Our race's gifts of shamanists stirred me from a years-long lethargy. Now I provide for all here, crafting the same boons that gave me newfound strength. The Highland Raptors are cunning and fierce beasts. Their spirits can grant our warriors great strength. Bring me raptor eyes so I may make the amulets as Torgon taught me. Okay. Go for so he's a shaman, so we need some raptors. But we've got some other quests around here. Sorry if I'm reading a little slow. I'm, uh, it's a little late at night for me here, as you can tell from the darkness. And I've been drinking a little Dark, bit, so we'll see how this goes. The Stone Shards. Ancient stones are strewn across the lands. The elements flock to them, surrounding them protectively. These are sites of great power and the largest in just West Hammerfall. Not a soul trespasses, but if you go there alone, you can hear whispers from the earth itself. I have not visited there for a long while, but our grunts have told me the whispers have started again. Would you look for me? Will you see the stone still speak? Dabu. Dabu. We're going to investigate the shards of Mazgrel. That sounds about right, right? Mazgrel. And I can't get out of here. That's awesome. I have to get around. Actually, I was playing quite a bit of World of Warcraft the last week or so. Uh, on an alternate character, I was trying out a lot of different ones. I started a monk up. It was zug, interesting. Zug. zug Zug. Drumfell. We're glad to have your help. Crush the Wither Bark. The Witherbark trolls and Boulderfist ogres of Arathi are working together to rid us of this land, but we shall not meet our fate at their or any else's hands. We will slay and show them that we, too, have a home here. The trolls turn their backs to us. The ogres would use us for food and bedding if we allowed them to. These things shall not be. We start our attack at the Witherbark bark trolls to the south here and slay them in droves and only return when their camps run thick with blood man these orcs are bloodthirsty here they are just like after it they're gonna claim this area raven tusk village not all forest trolls and foul nuisances like the wither bark north of here in the hinterlands is raven tusk village home of the only forest troll tribe still allied with the horde even they cannot escape the cruelty of their brethren. The village branch tribe wars with them, distracting them from our battle with the Alliance. You have fought well here. Speak with Urda. If you wish to fly to Raven Tusk, their village will have use for your strength. So that's Board actually taking us into the next area, so we're not going to be doing that one. Um, can I click on that? And let's see, untrack because I'm not ready to do that one yet, because uh, that's just going to take us into the next area. We're not going to do that. We're going to go over to the side here. Yeah, we're going to do these first here, and then we'll we'll head down to the other area. It's so like I was saying, I was, I've been playing a lot, actually, of World of Warcraft. I'm kind of interested in it lately. I started up 
a Pandarian monk, uh, which was really fun, really cool stuff. I kind of wish I would have done it for this series, but I did not. Uh, we're going to take some uh, raptors here. Man, rushed up on me. Yeah. But I'm still liking the mage here. Just need to pull back a little. So I'm running across to that question mark. I don't know what these casting exiles are here. I am still using this alt alt z UI. Love it actually. I think it's a terrific UI. It's actually one of the best I've played with. I don't know how it plays along with you know. Uh, if you're doing some kind of raiding or big group content, I don't know how that well that fares. I did do some small groups with it um, on my panda, but um, so far I love it. I think it's just terrific. It's just so slick and modern. So much better than the normal UI. And I've even got used to that arrow. I know in the last one I was kind of complaining about that. But I've gotten used to it. I kind of like it. It really helps me figure out what I'm targeting. If you uh, don't want it or you suddenly disappear, just so you know, I think if you hit... So I've got the arrow there. If you hit V, uh, which turns your nameplates on and off, that turns that arrow on and off. Uh, so that's good to know um, in case you do that. Because I was trying to figure out why it was off on one of my characters, and, and I figured that nameplates was off. It took a while to figure out. Uh, so we're getting close to that question mark. Here we are. The shards of Mazrel. My Mazrel. The stone shards. The shards pulse softly, and a whisper slowly echoes through your head. Help! The princess trapped. My name is Mazrel. I am a princess of the earth, and my captors, the giants, have trapped me deep beneath the Arathi highlands. These crystal shards are the only way I can speak with the surface world. Please help me. Allies of the giants, the dry whiskers kobolds, have a shard like this one in, the, in their dry whisker gorge to the east. To power the crystal, you must gather motes of Mizrael from the kobolds and apply them to it. I beg you, Desarian, aid me. How can I resist? Did I not accept it? I guess I didn't. Now where's that? Not even for sure. Man, you mean I killed that raptor and I did did I not loot it? Or did I not get any eyes? Eh, either way. That's a shame. I need to get more. Let's take this out again. Let's see. There. I'm guessing I didn't loot those, and that's very uh, disappointing. I was not paying attention, and that's what happens when you in the right state of mind. Yeah, I didn't. Ah, that's not good. Okay, so uh, let's see. We're going to... Looks like the moat is over that direction. So let's... Uh, I'm just going to keep killing these, these raptors and work my way over in that direction. Maybe I did loot these things, and they just don't drop very often. That's kind of sucks. Like they're they're not all dropping the eyes that like you would think that they would. I mean, okay, that one did, but like, why wouldn't they drop it every time? Am I like hitting them so hard with my ice bolt that it's popping out eyes, and they're not making it? Like it's like well, they're not available. I don't understand why an eye wouldn't always be available. Okay, so I've discovered Dry Whisker Gorge, uh, which is off over here to the left. We can see we've got some kobolds here, and they're the guys we need for their moats, so we can save the princess locked in the crystal shard, because of 
course. Gotta save the princess. Maybe they'll actually drop things every every time. Well, that worked. Let's do another and see how it goes. Like I gave up on the stupid raptors. They were only dropping maybe a third of the time. Nope. Not every time. I hate that kind of crap. Yup, yup. So I'm gonna keep killing these guys, which I guess are just all around here hanging out. I thought there was a mine, is what she said. Maybe not. It just looks like they're just all hanging out here around the edge of the mountain. And not everyone's going to drop them. Man, that sucks. Okay. So I'll uh, keep killing these guys until I get all of the moats that I need. Oh my god. So, here's some frustrating design that's rampant in older MMOs, where, especially subscription MMOs, where I have killed every single one of the stupid kobolds that's in this area. And, uh, yeah. I haven't completed the quest. And now I think there's even another jerk over here who uh, is also on the same quest. It's not his fault. He's actually on the same quest. But he, uh, yeah, see? So he's killing kobolds too. So now we're fighting for a limited resource to try to complete this quest. And it looks like they have like a 30% drop rate. Very bad. Just so aggravating. So I guess I'm going to go back, kill some raptor eyes. And, uh, or get some raptor eyes, because that's a low one as well. And uh, come back for the kobolds. Ugh, so aggravating. Okay, so I'm going to complain a little more. So here's the deal. Like, I understand, like, you wanted me to, like, slow down the pace. You want me to kill a few creatures and everything else. And, like, you know, that we need to fill out my experience and all of that stuff but why tell me 10 raptor eyes when i actually need to kill 30 raptors like there's there's no reason to like pretend that oh you only need to go out and kill 10 instead when you really have to go out and kill 30 to get these because they've got about a 30 percent drop like there's just no reason for that like just go and tell me, like, oh, you need 30 raptor eyes because you need to kill 30 raptors because that's just what I need. Like, why do we have to, like, pretend, like, oh, yeah, guess what? You're not going to kill 10. You're going to kill 30. It's just, like, a bait and switch. Like, it's not good. And I know they clean this up a lot in the later expansions and stuff, but it's just, like, still really frustrating to play through. Like, and this is, like, I just rather just say, okay, I have, you know, four more of these guys left to kill instead of three or whatever it is because I, I it's not actually let's see where i'm at it says i have one more raptor eye but i probably have three more of these guys to kill unless i'm lucky because the only the key gods smile on me yeah, but i'm not <laughs> and look at all the corpses around like i don't mind it's just like just tell me straight up don't lie to me not like just Try to, like, get me to kill more, or, like, trick me into it. Alright, so I finished up the raptors, I finished up the little crystal thing, so we're going to turn both of those in. Um, hmm, it looks like the crystal thing maybe does go into a cave up here. That would be kind of interesting. So we're going to actually take a look at that. That's well, not right... Looks like it's up in here in the. Huh. Maybe there's a cave entrance over here I didn't know about. There's more raptors. That's just what I needed. Dadgummit. Where is this place?
Hmm. Let me look around. Ha! Ah, I did find an entrance. I didn't know that was back here. I might have made this a lot easier. Dry whisker surveyor. Well, heal up a little here. So this is going to be where should be I find another crystal back here because she said that she was trapped beneath the uh, hammerfall. Aha! See, she's right up there. So it looks like I'm going to have to work my way there, which is kind of uh, aggravating. I could have been killing these guys in here instead of out there. All right, so let me uh, work my way there. Okay, so found the crystal. And let's see what she says. The princess trapped. This cluster of shard looks much like the shards of Mizrael, uh, but the same feeling of security does not pulse through them. Ah, you activated these shards. Already I feel more myself, but alas, I am still far from free. Stones of binding. Four stones of binding are scattered throughout Arathi. These stones kept me pinned beneath the earth. To unlock them, you must unlock the strongest, the stones of inner binding. And to do that, you must gather the keys from the other three. These stones are watched by guardians, but if you are clever or lucky, you may find way to banish them. Okay, so we're going to gather these burning keys and get the heck far out of here. Okay, so I'm going to turn in this one about the what raptor eyes. Mean? The lethargy that overcame me ever after the camps fell was so strong, I refused this gift when it was first given to me. Now I'm proud to do my part in the name of the Horde. Guile of the Raptor. The Highland Fush Stalkers to the south are even fiercer than the others of their kind. They possess not just strength, but true cunning. When I was trapped by lethargy even the amulets of strength failed to move me but Torgon used the hearts of the flesh stalkers to imbue me with spirits that had conquered my doubt fearing freeing me our soldiers deserve the guile of the raptors collect flesh stalker hearts for me Desarian. okay so he wants more raptor stuff and we're going to uh, go over here to this other shard because it looks like it says all of these are here. I don't. I don't understand that. Uh, maybe they're near this other shard where we first picked up this quest. Oh, oh, it's not where we first picked up this quest. Here's these cresting exile, and there's a shard right here in the middle. Get rid of my mount. Getting a little better with combat here. A little bit, a little bit. Don't mess up nearly as much. Remember to actually stay back and hit from a distance. Somebody else even? Okay, so this must be the cresting key. The cresting key. Which means another has unlocked down here one of the burning keys or something. Uh, so actually, yeah, that's probably where we're going to go. We're going to probably go like this. But let's see. Let me jump on my mountain. I'll meet you. Oh, on my way down here, I found one of these. Flesh stalkers. Take him out. Says we need 
12 of those hearts, so that means we need, what, 36 of these guys, probably? Ridiculous number. Kill another. Let's see what happens. I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I created an ad a long time ago called Mob Info. And I'm quite certain I created it in this zone because of this problem. Like, I wanted to see what actually the drop rates were, so I created this add on that would tell you and figure out what the drop rates were on collectibles and on. Craftable items and all that. So right now these uh let's kill one more. Maybe they are 100 percent drop rate. It's like you got on the nerves like that. I like that. Ah, it looks like they're hundred percent drop rate. Much better. So we should be getting close. Oh. I overshot the fire one. I meant to get back there. Let me. I can see it over there in the distance. Let's go over there. Okay. This is going to be the thunder. Oh, a little one right there. Tiny twister. One more, and I should be able to get the key from that little stone. Oh, got a nice recurve bow, not that I can use it. And the thunder key. Now, looks like. Ooh, that other one's way over there. Uh, we're not going to go for that one for a while, but there is a, a mount there, so we should be able to fly there whenever we get back to Hammerfall. But for now, we're going to go down and kill the raptors uh, that I need here. And then we're going to head over and kill the uh, trolls in that area, trolls and ogres. Okay, so I got through killing the raptors, and I made it into Volderfist Hall, uh, which I'm not sure these are actually the guys I need or not. Let's see, they got bit of over area here. This is not what I need. I need to go up and around, so I've kind of gotten off track here again. Uh, so I'm going to go around these guys and find the troll area instead of the ogre area. Okay, so I've got a weatherbark village, I think is what it said. Yeah, weatherbark village. Interesting. You can see there's some kind of statues down there. And sure enough, we've got some trolls here, and these are the guys that we need. We need axe throwers, headhunters, and witch doctors. Witch doctors being the lower number of one, so if we see them, those are the ones we're going to go for. You can see one inside there. So we're going to actually jump off. We're going to kill a few of these trolls. Bad trolls. Not horde trolls. There's no uh, no looted item, so we'll just kill it straight. You can see a witch doctor in there, so that's really who I'm after. I always go after the lowest number of the ones that you need, uh, because they're going to be the ones hard to find, so... one in this group, so it makes no sense to try to rack up our numbers with these other guys when we're really witch doctors who are hard to find. So we'll probably jump out of here and find another witch doctor somewhere. 
cleaning up these other quests, so that's one. Doctors are not nearly as plentiful, so we're going to go after them and kill those guys only as needed. Probably another one at each one of these tents, I bet. Go on up. Showing a little more combat than usual. nobody here. Even though this drum is here playing, I really like that. That's cool. Is there somebody else here cleaning out the area? Is that what's going on? It is. See, there's a, a filthy horde, or a filthy alliance guy coming in and killing all these guys. Mm. If this was a PvP zone, we would try to take them. See who they are. See, they're just cleaning up. Some kind of fire mage. Void elf. Wow. It didn't count as mine. Dead gummit. Alright, so I'm going to be waiting around to uh, kill these guys when they repop. That's unfortunate. Ooh, it looks like there's some kind of cave back up in here. There's lots of guys here. Plenty of not to have to fight with the, the alliance over. Yeah, so let me know whether you guys like you like this slower pace where I'm actually killing a lot on camera or if you like me to just cut cut through to the uh, quest dialogue. Try to do a good, healthy mix of both. Show you a little bit of the combat, uh, but not all of it, because it does get tedious after a while. That's the reason most people don't play Let's Plays of MMOs, is because it's too tedious and they don't have pause buttons, because they use the wrong software. I don't understand that. I try to make it easy on myself. back in this cave that I can use, like the witch doctors. There might be. Make sure I keep my shield up. <laughs> Headhunter. Oh, she found me, she's hit me with her hatchet. Cleaver. Humanoid, Zalus Witherbark. And he is a warlock, since so he's casting Shadow Belt. Take 
take a screenshot. hard to take down. That's awesome. I like this new combat stuff. It's been very entertaining to actually have to think about your fights and do it the right way. And not just assume you're going to win the fight just because... Alright, so I need three more Witch Doctors, five more Headhunters, and nine more Axe Throwers. Uh, if I find something interesting in here, I'll be back. Otherwise, I'm going to do most of this off camera. Okay, so I wrapped all of that up. Yeah, and I uh, just need to head back to Hammerfall and turn these in. And, and just a note, I did uh, come out of the cave because it didn't look like there's many axe throwers in the cave. So act, most of the axe throwers are outside. So uh, better to do it outside than it is to head up there. You can't see Hammerfall in the distance. It's pretty cool. Not as bad as it was on the other side of the Wrathy Highlands. I kind of like this side. Okay, let's tell Gurmul we no got his raptor hearts. As Torgon taught me, I transfer the power and the spirit of the raptors into the orb. It will imbue in our warriors with the fiery strength and intelligence of the raptor. The guile of the raptor is yours now as well, mage. Take it with pride for the horde. Job. 48. Right? No, level 35. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, 35. Uh, cool. And War Elemental has also reached level 35. That's cool. That's the reason he's got half health there, because he's actually leveled up a bit. Blood and thunder. The signs of war <laughs> upon the garments and sweat drips from your brow. Good. Very good indeed. Go with honor. With honor. Uh, okay, so there's nothing left here to do except to fly over. Strength and honor. To the other side. For the horde. To where we can pick up these burning keys. It's on the other side. Let's go ahead and just take a, a nice flight. Check out the environments of Wrathy Highlands. As this will probably be the last time to go through it. And as we fly. Looks like this is where we need to be, so we're going to jump off right here. Oh, pfft, you can't jump off in World of Warcraft, I forgot. You can only tell it to stop at the next stop. No shortcuts for you. And this is for the princess in the cave, which looks... Seems kind of suspect for the clues we're getting. That maybe she's not all she is telling us that she is. But I hope I don't have to go back to the cave. Oh man, I didn't even think of that. That. There's actually a name down in here. Awesome. Rule One Stone.
Oh, look at him. Take screenshot. <laughs> Take screenshot. Nice. Die rule. Two headed ogre. Bloomp. Sentinel cloak. What? Who's a what now? Sentinel cloak of the eagle. With a plus in a intellect, plus critical strike. Eh, what the heck? It's, since it's a cloak like that. It looks like we... Oh. It's telling me actually my other cloaks are better. So I'm going to leave it at that. Too bad. So we finally get this last key. turn in. Where is the turn in? Down here. What the heck? Okay. Let's mount up. I guess we're going to be trucking it. That's kind of surprising. I thought we'd have to either go back to the original crystal or go into that cave, but instead we're going kind of in a weird direction. And I'm going to try to get over there without too much trouble. So I'll meet you there. Oh, I see. There's another ring down here. And there's a different kind of rumbling exiles. Golem, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. This is the stone of inner binding. It is the strongest of the binding stones and must be unlocked for the others to open. That's right. Mezrael speaks through the stones. You have done it. You've opened the stones of binding. I can feel the shackles about me loosen and freedom draws ever nearer. Closer. You are noble mage, Desarian, my rescuer. Breaking the keystone. Opening the stone of the binding loosened much of the con confinement, but a lack still holds me chained. It is the keystone you see among the circle of stones, and the key is held by the one of my captors, the stone watcher Vazrak. You must obtain that key, which, which the stone watchers called the Rod of Order from Vazrak, and use it to open the keystone. Desarian, you have done so much to aid me. Just a little more, and my gratitude will shake the very foundation of the earth. Obtain the rod order from Fosrock. Aha. So I gotta summon him from here. I guess we could do that. The keystone is charged with tremendous geomantic energy. Oh. Where do I get Fosrock at? Man, they are sending me all over the frickin' Arathi Highlands for this. They better pay off. Because this is rather annoying. Aha, and here is Vazrock. Oh, he's a peaceful giant. Okay, I guess we have to, uh... Aw, oh, man. Alright, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. We have to kill Fosrock. All right, and we 
got the rod. We did indeed. Oh man. Space. Ah, and of course I aggro the stupid brother. But we need to go back to that other previous circle. Okay, so I've made it back to the stone. Let's turn this in. I don't like that. You place the rod in the keystone and a shutter is felt beneath you. Stop, foolish mage. We cannot let you summon the creature, Mazrael. You don't like me. So it looks like this is lit up now. Mazrael's tale. As the stone goes quiet, you are left with a vague sense of unease. Something isn't right. Perhaps you shouldn't. You should tell Zurak of what you've done so far. Okay. So he's in Hammerfall. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, I'm gonna summon there since I have it and I haven't used it for a while. Okay, and here he is. Let's see what he says about our doings. Speak. Mazarel's tale. I know, Dazarian. I should not have sent you. Forgive me. The whispers of the past are something too strong. Ooh. The princess unleashed. Mazrael is a deceiver. She is an ancient force sealed long ago and must be kept that way. You must confront her at the shards of Mazrael, where you first spoke with her. Summon her with the scroll, and when she has been fully brought to the surface, defeat her. Then take the Eldritch Sackles from her body and place them on the shard to keep her body fully bound once more. Good luck, Desarian. May my past trouble you no more. We're going to get some nice gloves. Okay, she looks... Uh Pretty awesome. Let's see. The hard. Oh man, uh, I need to clean up my inventory real fast. A sec. Okay, so it looks like he gave me some kind of eldritch. Oh, this is to summon her. That's all it is. All right, so let's go back to that original stone where we started this quest. Okay, so here it is. The shards of Mezrels are now strangely quiet. excited oh my gosh take a screenshot what desarian you served me well but you have summoned me soon i haven't yet reached my full power no matter you help me and now you will pay okay Summons die really quickly. I mean, you just gotta hit them once and they die. Oh, bro. Gotta make sure I keep my shield up. There we go. That worked. Wow, 
Wow, that was actually tough. And I got the shackles. I'm gonna heal real quick. If I can sit down. Ah, something's not working with my inventory. Like, I think it's sorted, but didn't, like, fully commit or something. It's something weird. But anyway, let's see what it says. As the Eldritch shackles are placed around the shards, an unhuman wall is heard from far below. The scream is followed by a roar. The shards of Mazril are no longer invoke feelings of warmth and security as they once did. Now they pulse with an open menace, as if the thing beneath them holds ill will toward the surface. That's awesome. All right, and we did, uh, we got the Eldritch gloves, and we have earned... The Arathi Highlands quest. Complete the Arathi Highlands storelands listed below. Okay, so that's cool. So, uh, yeah, that was very cool to get that all done at once and uh, get the storyline done. So that's pretty awesome. And we got a new pair of gloves that we can use. So that's even better. <laughs> all right, so that's going to uh, wrap up this episode. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit that like button and leave any comments you may have. Uh, if you haven't yet, you really should be subscribed. I try to put out videos, you know, a few times a week. Usually I'm, I'm trying to aim for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right now uh, with my current schedule. I don't know if I'm going to get to that, but I'm still trying really hard. So you want to make sure you're notified uh, and subscribe so that way you can get notification of that whenever I actually do put out videos. So until next time.